Ö till Ö Swimrun Racing Series presented by Railers Energized Engineering Skrinbolaget The Printing Company Hestens Crafting Sleep and Load for Mission Critical IT very interesting phase uh, for the sport of swim run and what's happening is that we have racers from all types of sports coming attracted to the sport of swim run. We have very strong swimmers that start running in the uh, trail running and we have very good runners that start training swimming. We have multi-sport or adventure racers who have the mental toughness that are building their swimming skills and we have triathletes that are discarding their bike and starting to run off-road. So I think we'll see, during the next couple of years, we'll see a huge shift in how people race and who actually are the best racers. The swim run sport is a new discipline for the seasoned athlete. The competition format and the original Outerlau event was formed on a normal summer's evening here in the bar at Uto Virtus. That night in 2004, pub owner Anders Malm, business partner Jana and Islanders Mats and Jesper Andersen were drinking beer, discussing new adventures and how to push the boundaries in their usual training in the archipelago. And then somebody said, could we go further? Could we, could we go from Ute to Sandham to have the next beer? Would it be possible? No. Or some people around the table said it wouldn't be possible. Uh, but in the end of the night, or early in the night actually, we decided that it would be possible. And we decided that, let's try it. Since then, the swim-run sport has enjoyed tremendous growth. In 2013, Uto and Ola became the first arenas for official qualification events in the Otolo series. Today's race is going to be awesome. It's uh, about four times as big as uh, last year, so it would be a really hard race, but um, we are here to have fun. It's a perfect weather and not too hot, not too cold. This will be fun. A lot pure, of fun. Pure fun. Yeah. I'm nervous and I'm mostly nervous about the slippery cliffs oh, yeah. that I'm going to fall and hurt myself. Hopefully it's not as cold as it was last year. Uh, I think it's, the first swim is going to be awful. Underway in the Uto Swim Run 2014, we're in Uto, an island in the southern part of Stockholm's archipelago. The start and finish take place here in Grubin by the 17th century iron ore mines. The 140 duos from the men's, women's and mixed classes are quickly approaching the first swim leg. And the reason why we put the first atelier qualifier here in Uto is a tribute to the people who invented the sports swim run in Uto. Anders, Janne, Jesper and Mats, who also lives here on the island. And the course we're using for this race is their training course where they have been training to prepare for Ötelö. So the start of the swim run season is where the heart and soul of the sport is. It's a really, really, really big honour for us to, to have the competition here. This course that uh, we do, we are uh, running now, is, is a kind of compromised version of, of Ötelö. It's, uh, it's rougher though, it's uh, more technical runs and it's, it's harder and it's more up and down. We have uh, teams from 15 different countries comes here to Ute Swim Run to try and get the eight sort of the spots for Ötelö in the category men, mix and women. It's colder in the swims on the outside and all, all uh, so it's, I think it's a very good uh, start and very good measurement of how, you're gonna, how good you're going to compete in that year.
The first four swim legs and the three minor islands have now been covered. The leader is approaching Nasodens Marina, just north of Uto Church. Here is the Red Bull Energy Station, the race's first refreshment point. First out of the water comes the men's team head swimming duo of several time Otolo winner Bjorn England and new teammate Marcus Hultgren, clocking 34 minutes and 9 seconds. Following them a minute and a half behind are Klaas Viren and Henrik Wolby of Team Got Juice. The best women's team is going strong. Annika Eriksson and Maria Erstedt are here out of the water, ahead of the best mixed team. And that team is the Finnish Dutch pair of Yasmina Glad Schrieven and Thomas Schrieven. An increasing number of competitors are coming up to the much needed Red Bull Energy Station for a top up of food and drink. Well, the race is uh, on two islands, it's on Uta and Ole, and uh, the character of these two islands are quite different because Uta is, uh, is a cultivated island where a lot of people live and there is a lot of roads and where, where there's no roads there are tracks. But on Ole uh, it's a nature reserve, so uh, you don't have any, any trails. The pairs are not allowed to swim more than 10 metres apart, a safety measure put in place so a teammate would be close enough to assist in case of an accident. In addition, there are safety boats on all the swimming legs, as well as medical teams should any emergencies arise. The teams are coming down here along the northwestern side of Uto and up from the 400 metre swim between Ustra and Vestra Minasudden. When the, the racers are finishing the first uh, legs on Ute, they will come down to Rusviken, which is actually the Russian bay, where the Russians held their armada under the siege of, of the Stockholm archipelago in, in the 1600s. They will uh, come out and run over a, a shallow sandbank for maybe 50 meters, and then they will go in to swim over to Åle, where they will meet the toughest run of the race actually. Very steep in the beginning and then you follow the ridge for two and a half kilometers with extremely difficult running. You have to really be sure on your footsteps. As you can see, the teams use a wide variety of equipment such as floating aids, pull boys, paddles, fins and different types of wetsuits. Some of the swim run gear is available in shops, but since the sport has evolved so quickly, much of the equipment is designed and tested by the athletes themselves. There are only a few limitations in terms of the equipment, but the rules are strict. Whatever you use in the swim will also come on the run all the way to the finish line. At the small Bortz Harkett Inn on the rocks on South Olar is the third energy station. As the leaders Bjorn and Marcus run through the station here, they'll have been competing for an hour and 40 minutes. Team 52, Team Got Juice, is still in second place in the men's class. The third pair arriving in Bortz Harkett is Yasmina and Thomas Schraven, leaders of the mixed team event who've had a great race so far. James Dean and Ewan Lees, the British full-on tri team, are also going well, here in fourth place in the men's class. With about half the race completed, the course meanders along the south of Olar before turning north and back towards Uto and the finish. This part of the course is the most dramatic and scenic, where the competitors will experience spectacular settings, but in challenging terrain. At the idyllic Timar Shrikum Bay, they'll encounter a very rocky and tricky shore, including a choice of alternative routes. Opting for the high jump in the water will cut a few extra seconds. 
the third team in the men's class is number 70, Kalatorlian and Rickard Olsen, running across the rocks and more. Whereas here, the teams are making their way towards the southeasternmost point of the course, Storz and Sudden. After a 360 metre swim in the clear and cold water of Storzand Rican awaits the only landing on a sandy beach, as well as a much longed for energy station. Annika Eriksson and Maria Eerstedt of Team AG Run, specialist Gruppen, have increased their lead in the women's class. After the big sand, Storsand, the race basically shifts in character and you will run uh, in a farmland. So the last uh, 10 kilometers is basically gravel roads where the good runners have a good opportunity to make up for some uh, bad running in the forest. The leaders are now making their way back up the island. Bjorn and Marcus have added another minute per energy station throughout the race and are now leading by more than seven minutes. A quick stop to top up energy for the last swim before finishing at the inn. Behind them, Team Got Juice are fighting against Kala and Richard for second place with only 20 seconds between them. Yasmin and Thomas are still safely in the lead in the mixed class. With their comfortable lead, Marcus Hulkgren and Bjorn England of Team Head Swimming can cross the finish line at Uto Varchus as the winners of Uto Swim Run 2014. The time, 3 hours, 16 minutes and 39 seconds, smashing last year's winning time by almost 17 minutes. Klaas Viren and Henrik Wallby, Team Got Juice, outswam their competitors and were happy to come home in second place. Finishing third, Kalator Leon and Rickard Olsen are also very satisfied with their performance. Team triathlon Kirkonomi were the star performers of the event. The winning mixed team also crossed the finish line fourth overall. I think we did a good race tactical, perfect race I think today. So we're happy with the win. It's the premiere for the swim run season as well, so it's good to win this one. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful it's track. Yeah, no, yeah. it was really nice. It's, uh, it's very varied. Very, so you got the off trail, you got sections of rock, and it's, anywhere you go, it's, uh, the views are fantastic. Yeah. And Annika Eriksson and Maria Eerdstedt win the women's class after being in the lead almost from start to finish. It was a good race. I had a, I was struggling a little bit more on the runs, but I was enjoying the swims. I think uh, Maria had a good good day in the running today. Yeah, and I was really happy to have Annika with me because she has so <laughs> much experience from these kind of races. So I was really calm and yeah, trusted her.